This next candidate sorting technique is designed to help you generate candidates with a similar profile to that of a candidate you are interviewing. Although this technique originated in the executive search market, it is completely transferable, as you'll see when the presenter uses it to generate candidates in the temp and contract market. I was recently working with a recruiter placing candidates into New York at $15,000 fees. And he said to me, I'm really struggling to source the candidates. No problem winning the business, but finding the candidates is a challenge. And by the way, this guy is an expert on LinkedIn. So I taught him a technique that I'm about to share with you called peer referencing. And about two weeks later, he rang me back and he said, Mike, thank you. I've now got 11 exclusive candidates, nine of which are not even on LinkedIn. And this is in the IT market where you'd expect most candidates to be at least savvy about LinkedIn, but not necessarily so. It's a great technique to find candidates similar to the candidate that you're interviewing or talking to. So different than a normal referral, and it goes something like this. So if you're my candidate, imagine at the end of the conversation I've had with you, I say something like, OK, John, so the last thing I want to do today is to really make your CV stand out from the crowd. And there are a couple of ways I can do this for you. The first is to take references from previous hiring managers, and we chatted about that earlier in the interview, and use those com comments positively on your behalf. The second way I can do it is to get a testimonial from people that you've worked with at some point in your career at the same level as you. And the reason this works so well is that people you've worked with at the same level often know the day-to-day -day nature of the job that you do a little bit better than your immediate manager. Would you not agree with that? In that case, which two people have you worked with at the same level as you at some point in your career who can give a positive testimonial about you to help you get a better job? Now, the wording I've just shared with you, if you get it right and you have the, the appropriate amount of benefit in the wording, there's got to be a benefit for the candidate to give you those names. It will consistently give you the names of similar candidates to the one that you're talking to right now. Think of the power of that. You can magically turn one candidate into three. It's not a referral-based technique. It's slightly different, but it takes you directly to other people with a similar skill set, and that is incredibly powerful. There is another step that you'll need to master after generating names with this technique, and that's how to convert those names into other candidates that you can place. One of the best ways to do this is to call the new person and take a peer reference on the first candidate you interviewed before attempting to convert them into one of your candidates. There's a lot of skill involved in making that kind of call which we'll explain in a separate clip. For now, you may wish to learn this wording so that you can gather more useful names from every single candidate interview.